Assalamualaikum. Uh, this video we continue uh, the chapter one. We have uh, learned in three previous videos. So this will be the last video for this chapter. Uh, on the, in the last video, we learn about uh, the type of noise uh, that can interfere our communication system. Uh, correlated noise, uncorrelated noise, and uh, under uncorrelated noise, we have internal noise and also external noise. So what are the effects of noise that can uh, has on our communication system? So when we have noise on our system, it will degrade the, the degrade the performance of the, the communication system that we want to develop, uh, either analog or digital system. And then the receiver may not be understand uh, the original signal that has been modulated. And because of that, it cannot demodulate the signal and cannot function as what the receiver should be. And because of that as well, the efficiency of communication will be reduced and we may not know what is inside the demodulated signal that we want to extract uh, the information signal from. Okay, so how to determine how how much the level of noise has been on our communication system. So in order for us to know uh, this noise level, there are some measure, uh, some methods uh, we can use uh, to find the noise level inside our communication system. Uh, for analog system, we can use what we call as signal to noise ratio. And for digital signal, uh, we can use bit error rate. Uh, I think these two things, two terms I already mentioned uh, in the first video. Okay. And to determine the quality of the received signal uh, inside a receiver, uh, we can use what we call as signal to noise ratio input. So I over here is what we call as input. And SNRO here is called SNR output. It's always less than SNR input due to fact that the existence of noise in the receiver itself. So basically the receiver will uh, conduct some processes such as filtering, demod demodulation and also amplification. And other than SNR, we also can use noise factor and also noise temperature to find the noise level inside our communication system. So for what is the signal to noise ratio? So based on the uh, name itself, it's actually the ratio we want to find uh, between signal to noise, uh, sorry, signal power uh, with the noise power. So ratio, basically, this is the ratio. Uh, means the division signal divided with noise uh, that is the ratio of the signal to noise ratio okay for noise factor and noise figure these two measurements is actually uh, how we want to know that signal to noise ratio has been good or bad okay so we need to find the signal to noise ratio first then after that we can uh, get what is the noise factor and also the noise figure for that particular signal to noise ratio. And before I explain more in detail about signal to noise ratio, noise factor and noise figure, uh, I want to explain to you about gain, intonation and as well as decibels. So gain is actually amplification. I think you have heard this term in uh, other courses, maybe in circuit analysis courses uh, that actually we use power gain for the power amplifiers. Uh, the same thing goes here, all right? but we don't say it's as power gain, it's just general gain. And for attenuation, it's also gain but in the um, negative side, okay, it's a loss. So again, if we have make it positive, but attenuation, if we get it into negative. So for gain and attenuation, we need to use the output um, output value, either you use voltage or power, divided by uh, the same value, in, uh, sorry, the same unit in uh, input, divided by input. Okay, for decibel, this is actually a unit. 
that we use when we get the gain or attenuation or whatever values that we have taken as ratio to be invisible. All right. So uh, we can take 20 log if we use the voltage or uh, uh, oh, sorry current. Okay. And we use 10 log when we use power for the calculation. Okay. When the circuit has gain, the decibel value should be in positive. But when the circuit has attenuation, which is the gain is less than 1, the decibel should be in negative value. Okay. So we also can find the total gain and also overall gain based on this equation. So this is when you want to know uh, you have several gains and you want to know what is the total gain when we use when you use all that uh, gains inside your uh, uh, system and the overall gain is where you want to know how much is the uh, either is a gain or loss uh, summation of whatever you use inside your uh, circuit okay for the noise calculation, so this is where we want to use the signal to noise ratio uh, and it has actually its own uh, equation by taking the signal power divided by noise power and U times with 10 log if this one you use power unit. But if you use voltage or current, this 10 log should be in 20. All right. For noise factor, uh, you will take the signal to noise ratio calculation for input divided by signal to noise ratio at output. And as well as you can use the temperature uh, to find the noise factor whereby the device temperature is indicated by this TE and divided by uh, uh, temperature in Kelvin, reference temperature in Kelvin. And plus one, then you get F right away without any calculation, uh, additional calculation. So for noise figure, you need to take whatever you had calculated in noise factor into noise figure. And you just need to get to add 10 log uh, when you have the noise factor. Or if you don't, you use 10 log signal to noise ratio input divided by output. Uh, and for this particular equation, only when you have voltage or uh, uh, current to be the value of the signal to noise ratio. Uh, and sorry, this one, power. I'm really sorry. This is in power, watt. And if it's in uh, uh, voltage or current, you need to change this to be 20. Okay. So how you can find or calculate the noise figure uh, based on the amplifiers, okay? So we have these two uh, situations where we want to find noise figure in ideal amplifier. Ideal amplifier means we don't consider any internal noise inside the circuit, okay? So we just need to find the signal to noise ratio at the input and then... Uh, and then you need to know uh, the, oh, sorry, uh, you times with the amplifier power gain over here and you will get this equation. All right. Just simple as that. But when you consider the internet, internal noise inside the circuit and into the calculation, uh, the noise figure, right, this is the noise figure. You need to add this one, the internal generated noise into the calculation. So uh, you must add the, 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 the internal generated noise, ND here, into the uh, noise uh, in input. And then either you use this equation or this equation. Uh, both are the same. And you can find the noise figure for the amplifiers. Okay, this example I put in column. You can try to use, uh, to try to uh, do this in column and uh, um, 
and I don't give marks for for this example. You can try how many times you want, okay? And for the cascaded amplifiers, all right. This is where when you want to use multiple amplifiers and you arrange them cascadedly side by side, okay? So we want to know at the end of the amplifiers, the third amplifiers over here, what is the noise figure for that uh, amplifiers or the system okay so for instance in this slide we have amplifier one two and three and the gain is ap1 ap2 and ap3 lah, i would say okay and the noise uh, figure will be an f1 and f2 and f3 so this will be the uh, individual value for each amplifiers but we want to calculate the total uh, noise figure for uh, the, uh, sorry, uh, including all amplifiers that inside the circuit. Okay, so we can try to use what we call as freeze formula. But before you can use this freeze formula, you need to read the notification remark down here that you need to change all noise factors and power gain that given invisible into unitless okay to unitless so how can we do that given maybe this is 10 uh, sorry decibel and the uh, noise factor also maybe around 5 decibel it's all in decibel units and in order for you to use this freeze formula the f the a1 uh, a2 a3 and all you must change this uh, unit in disable to be in unitless so we know from unitless to disable we need to use 10 or 20 log uh, so this one for the for unitless to disable to disable but from disable to unitless you need to know how to anti-log the unit then after that you can uh, use this phrase formula and find the total noise figure for the system. So in order for you to try on that, uh, this is the example. Uh, you can try and the question I put in column, you can try to put in your answer and column will give you either your answer is correct or not. So that's it for chapter one. Uh, I will try to make videos again for next chapter two for you to learn yourself uh, and try to understand better as a revision before you go for your final exam all right thank you